Hey guys, um, so earlier I did say that I would do, um, the Mark 50 video, and, um, here it is. So, just starting off, um, this is the slip cover that's been, um, on all of the Infinity War, um, figures. Hot Toys, Movie Masterpiece, and then it tells us that it is a die-cast Iron Man, and then it is MMS 473, or the 23rd die-cast figure. So we have that awesome Infinity War artwork that we've had with all the other Infinity War Avengers. Um, I am not getting the Infinity War Thanos. I am waiting for the Endgame Thanos. Um, but you have the Gauntlet. Um, Mark L. Again. And then we have this nice gold... Aven is it gold? Yeah, gold. This nice gold Avengers logo. And on the back, we just have the credits, again, telling us that it is the Mark 50. Then we have that Avengers um, logo that continues over. So that is it uh, for the slipcover. It is a really awesome slipcover. Um, I have the Infinity War Widow. Um, and I, I um, didn't mind her. I, I might consider... Uh, selling her towards the end of the year, though, as I um, have already ordered the end game um, widow. Just depends on how much of a um, when I take another look at her, um, I'll make my mind up. So this is what is underneath the slip cover, and it's got um, Iron Man. You can see the silhouette again. There is the Mark L. Then again, we have that gold. Marvel Avengers Affinity War. Um, and then on the bottom, it just says Avengers Infinity War. And if you turn it over, oops, we get the Iron Man symbol. And then, apologies, we just get some more. Oh, out of focus. Um, we just get some more credits with the black faded Avengers logo, the Iron Man logo in there. So, um, that is it, um, for that. And again, it says Iron Man Mark L on the top. And when you lift that up, you get, uh, this tray, which obviously houses Iron Man himself. So, um, if you would have seen the photos, I have, uh, already put the batteries in. I will attempt, uh, to show how they work. Um, it'll be a little tricky doing it one-handed, um, as the fact that I do use the phone, um, for the videos rather than a camera. You can see that even opening a accessory tray is difficult. Hang on a sec, guys. Alright, sorry guys. Alright, we are going to look at this accessory tray first. So first of all, we get this awesome um, Avengers Infinity War stand that I believe all the other Infinity War figures have come with. Again, um, I have Widow and Mark 50. Um, and then, it's a shame that they, when they did these stands, they went away from the metal nameplate. Um, don't know why, maybe they just couldn't get the metal uh, nameplate to stay. <clears throat> so that is that one there. Um, that is the pole for using the flight stand. That is where all your batteries um, are stored. You can see that I have already taken them out. You get, you get a screwdriver, which is really handy, and you get the tool uh, for helping you with the batteries or the hidden um, pieces. Um, now, he does come with this... Um, back piece. Now, what's interesting is a lot of people have um, criticised the fact that these accessories are plastic. Um, it's really nicely detailed. Um, the red is cool. Um, it does look quite nice when it's put on him. So that one just sits in there. And then we do get... Now, um, now these are... I mean, even though they're plastic... There's still a bit of weight to them. 
Um, so this is just a hand cannon, so that would go up there. Um, you can see where it attaches to the figure. And they get that really nice um, red and gold. And then we do get this one. Now, even though, again, even though this one's still plastic, um, it actually has some weight to it. I actually originally did. Until, um, they said it, I actually thought the accessories were uh, die cast. But, um, unfortunately, these ones are not. Now, this one here, you can actually, um, similar to what they do with the, uh, Star Wars figures, this arm here actually does come off, and it... Um, attaches and then you turn the LED on and that actually lights up um, using the LED from the arm so it's a really cool feature that they included and I'm glad they did include that <clears throat> okay so mark 50 himself this guy is super freaking heavy um, he does he does have um, no trouble standing. So, you can see him there. I might actually bring him forward a little bit. So you can see that there is a lot of little details um, on this guy. Again, um, people criticised the amount of die cast in this figure. So the chest piece is, um, this front chest piece bit does feel plastic. Um, this section here does feel plastic. The arms and legs are definitely die cast, uh, and the helmet does uh, feel plastic as well. But um, the bottom half of him, you can definitely feel... Um, or the die cast. Now the legs are not fully die cast. There are these little plastic side tabs and they just um, getting, them, getting them back on is a little bit of a pain after you do this um, but this is just a plastic cover and when you do it um, you can see where the battery you can focus you can see where the batteries screw in and then you do that, and you do get one LED um, on the on each leg. So if I did that to the other side, that just pops up. It does um, it does tell you in the cover, so you can see the um, oh yeah, hold it that way. You can see the L in the on the cover there then you know that it is the left leg. And then again, exactly the same, you get the switch. And you can see that they are pretty bright. Now, that back piece I was telling you about, um, so that's the same. You just feel for the plastic bit. Again, um, that tool uh, that I had in there will probably help you do this. Um, but I found that they aren't actually that hard. Uh, once you find, um, once you find where they are, it's not actually that hard to, um, to remove it. You've just got to really, um, find where it is. And again, it is a little bit harder to do. Um, it is a little bit harder to do one-handed. Um, the arm, the repulsor arms, now this is quite interesting, because the batteries, ooh, the batteries actually go underneath this area here, but the switch is actually on the reverse side, so what you want to do is you want to see these little silver tabs, and you want to kind of, am I looking at the right side, or is it that side, um, No, it is. It's um, actually in this silver bit here. Um, the battery switch. The, um, that actually does come, and again, it is quite easy to do, but um, just hard to do one-handed. And the switches are in there. 
The helmet is obviously the most straightforward. You just lift that off. It's all magnetic. And the switch is right there. Put that on. Press that down. And there is Iron Man's eyes. Um, it is a shame that these ones in here are just painted on. Um, if they had... a um, couple more extra batteries. I suppose they didn't want to, um, they really didn't want to skyrocket the cost of this guy. I did, almost, I did almost have that off. Again, I, I do apologize for this. It is really hard to do. There it is. Um, one handed. So that just comes off. You flick that one. And then, um, yeah, so all those ones do light up. And I thought, well, maybe I was wrong. I thought there was one painted one. Um, so that was my mistake. So, yeah, that is, um, as I said, it does look really cool uh, with him. I know the um, extra accessory pack that you can buy for this guy. None of the items um, are LED. They, the light effect is all paintwork um, on that one, which is a real shame. Um, just while I'm filling with this arm, for me, the, the accessory pack, um, I probably definitely will not get it. Um, simply for the fact that, look at it this way. Um, I missed out on uh, John Wick from the local stores. So I, if I have a voucher, I mean voucher, if I have some pennies, I'll go off pop culture. Um, if I don't have pennies, I will generally, um, 80 to 90% of the time go with AEX or NMA exchange. Um, and if I left, leave a figure too late, um, mostly I'm forced to source it from Sideshow or, uh, I will, um, be lucky enough um, that Zing or someone will still have it uh, for pre-order. Now, John Wick. John Wick, I missed out on the uh, standard pre-order. Um, can't remember how much it was, but Zing have him for $395, which is fine. A lot cheaper than ordering it from Toys Wonderland HK. Um, a lot cheaper than what I've seen it for on eBay. So... That was all fine. The accessory pack for this guy is $389. So for $5 more or $6 more, I can get John Wick. What am I gonna do? Buy a bunch of plastic non-LED um, items or John Wick? The answer was John Wick because it was better value in my eyes um these are the hands so again they have that um that's where the led would come through so you've got that um kind of a hand there and then you've got this one so i believe these are the i believe these are the um i'm floating in midair Previous Iron Men have actually had a fire piece that clips in there, but uh, these ones just have the lights, and then these are the repulsor, oh, the repulsor firing hands. Um, you can get some pretty good poses. I did take some photos um, of some of these accessories set up. And then of course we get the standout accessory, the Robert Downey Jr. full head sculpt. Now, Hot Toys, oh, when I get to focus, Hot Toys has always done Robert Downey Jr. quite well. This one. This one is ridiculously good. Um, and I wish that it would focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, this head sculpt is phenomenal. 
um, in terms of being Robert Downey Jr. Um, let's see if it focuses better on black. You can definitely see that it's Robert Downey Jr. Um, in his um, newer bearded style. He's aged a fair bit since the last head sculpt of these that we've gotten. Um, he looks fantastic. I'm really hoping um, I'm I'm real I'm really hoping that the Mark 85 one, the prototype, um, looks great. Um, I'll probably get the battle damaged Mark 85, um, simply for the fact that it could almost be the last time we get um, Robert and I mean we've got the start of the fight. Um, all fresh Mark 50 and to have the battle damaged weary bleeding Mark 85 um, at the end would just be pretty cool um, I really don't want to do this but I am considering buying the Hall of Armor 3 pack um, just so I can have uh, 46 and Mark 7 in the Hall of Armor and then I'll toss up whether um, when 85 comes out, if I'll put this one in a Hall of Armor. Um, AEX Collectibles currently has an Iron Patriot um, for sale. Yeah, um, 330, I think, is on it. Uh, if you mention uh, that you saw it mentioned in this video, um, they will probably do 300 for it. Um, but that is definitely the lowest, and, um, that, yeah, so, yeah, 300, and, um, being a special order, um, I believe there would be a postage cost involved in that. So we get, um, the Robert Downey Jr. head as well. Um, I really did want to turn on these repulsor lights, but, um, that under part is just far too hard, uh, to do with one hand, but you can see that the LEDs are very bright. Um, articulation wise, I'm not going to um, play with him too much on camera, but he can do all the regular Iron Man poses. The, um, I've never attempted to do the extreme um, landing pose, but um, you can get him in some pretty good flight poses. And again, I did have the initial photos that I did post, even though it was still a basic pose. Um, even the pictures that I've seen, you can have no problems using the flight stand, bending his legs, bending his arms. Um, this guy looks way better in hand, uh, than he did in the, f um, in the initial photos. Um, in the initial photos, I was thinking that it was just going to look really silly. My only real complaint is when you move the arms around, you do get these gaps, and you can see that, like, proportion-wise, that does look really strange. But, um, if you position the arms up properly and get him into, um, a proper pose, that is fine. Um... There is also this uh, hip articulation. You can stretch that up, and then you can move him um, around a little bit um, to give him a slightly better range of motion. Um, but yeah, I am really happy with this guy. Um, as I did say, I believe um, AEX or Anime Exchange do have a couple left. I will put um, the details, the store details, um, in the link and uh, you may message them to see if they still have it available um, if you are interested in um, Mark 50. They also have I believe one Thanos remaining. Um, I did see um, the Thanos was not um, So this guy was out on display um, And I saw him and I was like, yeah, I'll take him um, Thanos is still sealed in the box hasn't been displayed or anything um, now, Anime um, Exchange will not send you an X display. Um, they actually, um, the owner, Amanda, she actually puts her own Hot Toys um, collection in the shop window um, if they're in stock. So it's just something that um, she does to help advertise and sell the figures. And um, like all this armor piece, like you can move that shoulder armor slides up in there and um there is a lot you can do with this guy 
um, changing over the head is pretty easy. Um, as I did say, this accessory here is like the Star Wars lightsabers. You do have to pull that arm off. Um, it is a little daunting, but once you do it, um, it is pretty cool. And then, um, as I said, you can just... That just clips on um, to the back. And then it um, gives him that winged look. And again, um, I did not like the look of that in the uh, photos. But uh, in hand, it is much... It looks much better. Anyway, guys, this has been a look at Mark uh, 50 from Infinity War. And again, this head sculpt, I really um, do apologize for the f uh, iPhone's lack of um, focus on this head sculpt because this head sculpt is amazing. Um, as I did, I did post a, a close up photo um, of the head sculpt, and it was phenomenal. Um, so Mark 50 today, hopefully Darth Maul tomorrow. Um, and I have the 3-0 Scully uh, shipping out from Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sure whether I will get that shipped out straight away or whether I'll add it to the pile of loot as I'm still waiting for Big Bad Toy Store to uh, ship Sulu and Montgomery Scott from uh, Star Trek. Alright guys, thank you for watching.